here on this cold, gross, overcast day, brewing a beautiful tropical IPA. Perfect weather. <laughs> so today we are reviewing our uh, juicy tropical IPA we brewed the other day that is based off of this Creature Comforts Tropicalia. Ours is sort of more of a New England IPA version of it. Let's go crack these bad boys open. Gladly. Tropicalia is a Georgia favorite. Um, so I used to get it a lot when I lived in Georgia. So we've got a nice golden, fairly clear color. It's a little, little hazy in terms of like dry hop haze, but nowhere near a hazy boy. Whoa, now it's too bright. <laughs> so you still kind of get that hop bag smell from it. Mm -hmm. Kind of a generic hoppiness with some citrus. Clean. Very clean. Definitely pre-New England, but very fruit forward. Mostly Citra, then Centennial, and a little bit of Galaxy in both the boil and the dry hop. So you are getting a lot of Citra out of it. Especially drinking out of the can, you taste the Centennial, a little bit more pine and, and floral. And then drinking out of the glass, I'm getting like a lot of apricot. For some odd reason, that was the fruit flavor that I was getting. I'd agree with that. Yeah, because it's not quite like, it's not quite orange. Maybe, maybe sort of that passion fruit tropical something, but like a hint of grapefruit. Doesn't have the bitter flavor that grapefruit has. It's no. no melon characteristics really. I would say apricot, yeah. Nailed it. Still pretty good after, because it's been a month since I drank mine. We've just been sitting around waiting for this review. Waiting, waiting for our beer to carve up. <laughs> Remarkable restraint. I put these two in the very back of the fridge and hid them. Yeah, I drank all six of mine. But I was the one who drove three hours there and back. Totally fair. So. Thanks again. Yeah, Ben's got more of a history with this beer because my only history is whenever he brings it up from Georgia. We'll set this aside and compare it to our interpretation. Have you know, this glass is awesome. Pay no attention to these bottles. We totally can our beers because we're a cool hype brewery. Yeah. So we've got our pretentious beer glasses again. Beautiful glasswork. They make fantastic beer. And I'm not worthy. Yeah. I don't know if you can like really see how beautiful these colors are. I've got sort of a backlight, but let me go backlight even more. I mean, look, look at this. Sure. It's like beautiful, hazy, yellow, orange. Just probably one of our, my favorite colors we've got so far. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, it's almost as smooth as Owen's, Owen's moves in the video. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the video where Owen was rapping. <laughs> he wasn't actually supposed to be that's rapping. That's so good, though. And he just gets in front of the camera and does this thing. And so when I was editing, I'm like, this looks like a rap music video. It looks like Tupac and hit him up. And so I dumped it over. For the record. Yeah. For the record. For the record. For the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. I haven't had one of these in <laughs> a while. So I've had a few of these. We've been waiting for this one to carb up for a long time. We used the uh, Hothead Ale Yeast, um, which is a Kvyk strain, instead of our usual English Ale Yeast. The English Ale Yeast usually carbs up within a week. Um, this one took us, like at two weeks, we still weren't uh, fully carbed. This is actually months after bottling now, but this is just like pure fruit juice. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> but when, we, when I had it uh, at week one and week two, very little carbonation. It tasted way fruitier. It was just like, it tasted like you were drinking fruit juice. It didn't even taste like beer. Part of that was probably the lack of carbonation. Maybe a little residual sweetness from the priming sugar. This still tastes like fruit juice, but kind of you could believe it's a beer. <laughs> yeah. It definitely, the first, first time I tried it, I was like, my lord, this is... It almost fit that it wasn't carbonated, you know? Because it was yeah. almost just like not drinking a beer. Love it. So, 
The aroma is sort of like this tropical fruit flavor, tropical smoothie kind of thing. And the taste, every time I taste this, I taste a different fruit. Guava. Guava. I believe Stuck that. out right away for me. It's also very soft and smooth. Yeah, it like tastes like, it really tastes like a smoothie. Mm -hmm. uh, but there is, I'm, I am detecting a little twang of that centennial bitterness. But it reminds me a little bit of a milkshake IPA. Yeah. Just because it's so soft and it is so fruity. However, there's no lactose in this. Yeah. It's also a good beer, unlike milkshake IPAs. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> <laughs> so, we didn't do anything that a typical New England IPA processes for this one. Yeah. The water chemistry is fairly balanced. I want to say that the chloride and sulfate is fairly even. Uh, my big thing was trying not to get the calcium over 100 parts per million. I don't like that taste, so I've been carefully dialing that back using um, Epsom salt and sodium chloride to get our chloride and sulfate levels uh, to a place where I want it to be. But it's like, it's incredibly soft. Another thing is we didn't do any biotransformation dry hops. We only do a single dry hop. My philosophy is we put a lot of hops into the whirlpool. Those oils should be there to get transformed into more citrusy flavors by the yeast if they're, if they're going to be doing that. No need to waste hops in a separate dry hop. I already put in like five ounces in the whirlpool. So that'll carry over. It's very clean, mm -hmm. very fruit forward. Still tastes slightly of a beer. <laughs> yeah, this one can get me in trouble. I have been getting like this almost pina colada flavor out of it. Could be from like, sort of like the pineapple flavors that you might get from Citra and Galaxy, plus the yeast, almost like a sweet vanilla. There's something coming from the yeast on this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to do a comparison? Yes. Uh, so, let's compare real Tropicalia to our version of the Imperial Tropez. We do it first, Trop. Let me get this burp out of me. <clears throat> there, I kind of dab into it. I like that. <laughs> All right, so we've got our creature comforts. So that's much more raw hop, but like you smell it and it tastes like when you open a bag of Centennial. Yeah, it does. You're getting that, it's like that hoppiness. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the like smelling a hot bag, not necessarily the fruit flavor. Whereas ours is just like you're getting tons of like pineapple, guava, very fruity, not not very hoppy at all. Like if you told somebody that this was made with fruit, they'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, Tropicalia. Taste it next to this tastes a lot more west coasty. Yeah. Still getting that. Dry, like, effervescent. It's fruity, but it's not. It's very fruity, but very like English fruity. Mm -hmm. It's got that, uh, you know, the, the 1968 English ale yeast. Still sort of a legacy of back when West Coast IPAs were in vogue. Yeah. They're coming back, man. Yeah. Stay tuned. And then. Coming to ours. Much softer. Certainly more fruit forward. I mean, we've said that already. Yeah. But. When I was researching brewing this beer, uh, I read somebody was talking about how to get the best out of Galaxy, dry hop it at 60 degrees or lower, like 58, 60, to get a lot of those fruit characteristics. Because supposedly at higher temperatures, you start getting more grass and sort of like the polyphenols come out and stuff we don't want but <laughs> since we did that like this one just is all fruit flavors there's none of the sort of resinous grassy dry hop flavors that other beers have yeah now we are heavily biased on galaxy eight ounces of galaxy and this is heavily citra biased next centennial next galaxy so it's not quite as 
fruit forward as ours for ingredient reasons. I know we've in the past been like, oh, I prefer this one to this one or whatever, but these are two sides of the same coin for me. I say, I say they're equally good, but yeah, different. Completely different, yeah. I mean, I say completely different, they're derivative of each other, but you know, you got your crisper, cleaner, more West Coast-esque, and you got your straight up embrace. I mean, this is New England all the way. Yeah? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I, get your, I get what you're putting down. <laughs> Do you have anything clever to say? Honestly, I'm just so tired and defeated as a human being, I really don't. Kids. <laughs> Kids. 60 do, hour do, work weeks. Do, 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 since it is based off of Tropicalia, the label art sort of reflects the color scheme there. But since we brewed with galaxy hops and with a kvike yeast, which is Norwegian, we thought this would be a perfect opportunity to uh, celebrate the great clash of Old Man Thor and Galactus in uh, the Thor comic books. Thank you, Jason Aaron. Contrary to a previous video, we are not actually cool guys. We are big nerds. <laughs> yeah, no dispute. <laughs> so uh, this is doubly interesting because uh, Thor in the uh, Avengers Endgame movie drinks this very same beer, Tropicalia. So we're like, okay, so Thor's drinking Trop, and then we've got Galaxy Hop, which is like Galactus, and we got Norwegian Yeast, which is like Thor. So it's Thor versus Galactus. And everything came together, and I think it makes a cool label, and it makes a cool, uh, cool beer. The problem is every freaking idiot <laughs> in the entire world has already made like every galaxy pun you can come up with, every Viking pun. You can go for it. Uh, I mean, when I was going to buy beer the other day, there was a Space Viking IPA from Stone. Yeah. I know one of the local breweries has done something with Kvike East that was also very similar. I mean, they didn't flat out. They weren't cool enough to, you know. Right. Just, uh, now, I, I think there's two possibilities. People don't want to name check Thor for two reasons. One. Copyright infringement. They risk the wrath of Disney, but Disney doesn't have a copyright to the concept of Thor. That is That's a, true. You know. It's, it's a god. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Or they risk the wrath of John Michael Thor, or John Michael Thor, of the great the man hell? Thor. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know who John Michael Thor, John Michael Thor is, he's the world's best bodybuilding heavy metal artist. He starred in uh, some zombie movie with Tia Carrera and Adam West. You know a lot I of I, No, I watched it on uh, Mystery Science Theory 3000. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, who's that buff dude? It's John Mickel Thor, <laughs> or however you pronounce his name, of my favorite band Thor. <laughs> oh, anger. Anger is my middle name. Scratch everything. We're renaming this beer, Anger is my middle name. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this is the label art. Anger is my middle name. <laughs> awesome. Say some hilarious things that I could edit in because I feel like I blabber on too much compared to the two of us. You put me on the spot. Be funny now! The, the reason we've been so lazy with our brewing uploads is I was out of state at my sister's wedding, trying to perfect doing Fortnite dances. <laughs> Congrats, Daniel. <laughs> you kids like Fortnite dances? <laughs> trying to be extra cringe. <laughs> Probably succeeded. <laughs> he is the coolest kid ever. How good you get at them? People wanted you're me pretty to keep, good at the one. People so. wanted me to keep dancing, but like, <laughs> like I'm, I'm getting old and I just don't like get hyped <laughs> up. But we went to the bowling alley later on and they were playing pop punk 
and I knew all the words, and it was the best time ever. Her boyfriend, he don't know anything about her. He's too stoned, Nintendo. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I got all these burps, but they're not coming. Half dabs? I'm not gonna dab on some weak ass burp. <laughs> <laughs> so, which beer do you think is better? I like ours better, personally. So, here's my hot take. On some level, I like ours better just because it's the more intense version of the beer. Which I'm assuming that the Creature Comforts, Trompez, Tropicalisma, they've got a couple of Imperial versions of this. Yeah. It's more like it. But I appreciate the West Coastness of the original Tropicalia. Yeah. I do find that New England IPAs kind of all sort of end up in this juice category. It's like different shades of juice. Different flavors of juice. Fifty but shades of juice. Fifty shades of juice. Great maybe. So so what my hot take was is that I wanna go brew more sort of West Coast IPAs that don't fall into that like that juice category. I do think New England IPAs are a good way of showcasing a hop, but it seems to always bring forward the fruity characteristic. I would like to brew some kind of West Coast IPAs just to get a different take on these hops. Yeah. That's, that's what we got planned next. Um, a very dank, hoppy, but not necessarily juicy IPA. I think I just heard a lot. <laughs> Olivier? <laughs> she can't hear us in here. This is our secret room. Oh, yeah. No women or children allowed. Except for the fact that they're, they're always. They're always in here. Yeah. Because yeah. if you say that you brewed something, you pooped in it, gave us a thumbs back. Okay, appreciate you trying to get us thumbs down, but. Have you ever made anything that wasn't gross? No, nope. I want every bear to be gross. But I mean, I know, but bit, I put a chicken in it. It was alive. You put a live chicken <laughs> in here? Except it, 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 it tasted different. It tasted great. You'll like it better. Pe if Pepper tasted it, he'll be like, <laughs> he'll be like, more. But, but it's not good for zombies, Bo. I couldn't get him more. Why isn't it good for zombies? Because it's beers. Zombies can't drink beer. If you don't like this, just give it a thumbs down. And if you don't like it right now, give it a thumbs down right now. Then go home on your videos and watch this different video. Then put on some metal music. Oh, oh my gosh! My hand is in full of my bed. Oh my gosh! My hand is in full of my bed.